On this episode of WeGo, we're here with the marvelous Wonder X. Lollipop, lollipop, oh We meet the whole cast and crew at this historic community theater to see how it takes a village to put on these amazing shows. We Go is brought to you by Baxter Brewing and Visit Maine. We arrive in Biddeford, Maine at the City Theater, a building that has been home to operas, plays, and even a giant horseshoe pit for some time. Here we meet Linda Sturdivant, the dedicated and passionate woman who keeps this place running. Welcome to City Theater. Come on Hello. in. Hello, thank Hi you. There. Thanks for having us. Linda gave us a tour of this beautiful building that's no stranger to adversity. It survived a massive fire 120 years ago with a complete restoration and is again pushing through hardships and opening its doors for the first time since the pandemic, which we love because this place has bared witness to over a century of Maine history. So what kind of shows used to play here? Um, well, this was originally an opera house. This was a booming town, Biddeford, um, with all the shipbuilding and the mills, and there was no TV, so this is where you got to go and see your entertainment. Was Biddeford always this hub of arts and culture, or? No, it was at the turn of the century, and it's having a renaissance now, which is exciting for us, yeah. because we've been here when it wasn't that much of an arts district, and now to see it kind of blossoming around us, it is really very, very exciting. So you did it before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, behind us, the City Theater crew is getting ready for a performance of The Marvelous Wonderettes, an all-female cast and a super fun jukebox musical comedy singing hits from the 50s and 60s. And how exactly is this all put together, you ask? So The Marvelous Wonderettes, opening night on the horizon, where are we in the timeline? Starting tonight, we'll be doing our first run-throughs. Everybody's been kind of working independently, and now it's all coming together as one piece, and now we're all gonna start working to get it nice and smooth and ready to go. The girls are amazing. We've been practicing for about seven weeks now. It's always different because it's live, and with the um, audience reaction, it makes it different for the girls. And they're human, so things are going to change, or technical things are going to go wrong, and they have to change on the fly. Lots of times I watch every show, and lots of times something will go wrong, and I'll think to myself, well, that was different. <laughs> Let's see how they get out of that one. <laughs> that makes it exciting, though. It does. It makes it very exciting. It's, it is. The most rewarding part of doing community theater is the fact that it's not just involving the community to come to see the show, but it's involving the community to be able to come here and participate and be part of the show. And it doesn't matter what your skill set is, if you want to perform, if you want to build, if you want to paint, if you want to do plumbing, I've got something, I've got something for everything. There are a lot of people who love to be involved in the theater, who just love being in this space. So we moved on to meet Carl the technical director who's in charge of building sets and making sure everything works behind the scenes. Previously, I was a theater major in college, and then I did some way off Broadway and off um, Broadway in New York City. So it's like, oh, Biddeford City Theater, I'll go check that out. I wandered in here and haven't left. I've probably done in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 50 shows or something here, one form or another. So you said you teach people how to make the sets? Correct, every, every set we build we build right here on site. Usually it's every, we work on weekends because again, everyone's got a 40 hour job outside of here. So every Saturday and Sunday, we get anywhere from two to 20 volunteers. This is a really great way to give back to my community. It's, it's something I'm passionate about, something I love, and um, it really, you know, it just involves more and more people. So, you know, that's, that's what's really kind of cool about it. And we couldn't possibly come to a musical rehearsal without joining the cast for a little warm up and, of course, meet the marvelous women of the Marvelous Wonderettes. It's, it's really like a family. Like this is only my third show with City Theater, but I seriously feel so at home here. And like we're all friends and it's, it's, that's cool in itself because we get to just hang out with our friends, but also make art. It's amazing 
that 52 people can take time out of their lives and create something together and share it with their community. This place is magical. I can't put my finger on what is so amazing about this space. A lot of it has to do with the people that work here. A lot of it has to do with the history and just the fact that it's just so amazing to be here. But the magic of community theater comes from the fact that people are here because they love it. Um, they all have, or most of them have 40 hour a week jobs, which they do something else and they come here because this is where they get to be creative. This is where they come to feed that part of their soul. And so it's always so magical here. And that makes this wonderful. And I don't mean to cry, but I do. Because that's great. That's why I'm here. People are here because they need to be here.